So we have seen what we have to start working with. Uh, I have already put the gel on uh, on them and then I will show you uh, how to do it. So on the other hand, I've got the tip which isn't filed. Uh, I'm just going to take a file and then remove all the corners where the tip is joining the natural nail. You don't want that. Give it a couple scratches to the top. because the gel is not going to stick into the shiny surface and then blend the difference. Okay, so once the difference is done, I'm giving a couple more scratches to the natural nail, clean the dust, glue scrap to dehydrate it. Like make sure you only dehydrate the natural nail, an extra nail prep. Actually, I, is going to be back in stock again because it was out of stock guys um, and all the products which I'm using you can guys get it on our website as well that's an universal air bond and universal air bond gives an adhesion uh, of the product to the natural new and well requested one because you guys don't see me using it uh, often in the videos the cover nude uh, and i choose this design because i thought it will go cool with all those bright colors we are going uh, to do it and that's the darkest gel we've got so in a case like uh, of Marley, where she've got a really short uh, nail beds, uh, this is a perfect solution because we can really hide uh, the the free edge of the natural nail. Um, I have put a nice and thin layer into this one, then cure it. And I'm going to do it exactly the same on this one. So um, I have left two nails on opposite hands just because uh, I wanted to show you guys how I'm really uh, working on the client. So it's like, swapping from one hand to another and this one is done and we are going to change then apply another thin layer so another thin layer remove the excess of the product this way it's much easier to control it and then you've got like a just a wee um, we amount around the cuticle area so you can go really really close but at the same time, you are not going to float those cuticles. The product is not going to run in there because you've got very little. Also, this slidey surface will help you to build up the apex. So for the apex, I'm picking up a huge scoop of the product. Like it's a really decent amount of the product. You can see it, but trying to pick up on the one side of your brush. You can even wait for it to kind of drop like with, look what the gel does, like a start dropping. Um, and then direct the finger down the way. Uh, so it helps you a little bit spring, spring, spring to release the product from your brush. So it's a little bit more movable. And now hurry up because I talk too much. Uh, work it down the way to build up your structure. Don't go too close to the cuticles, too close to the edges. Because by the time you finish, uh, the product is going to run in there. Uh, so you don't want that change. And we are going to do it exactly the same on this one. Then cook them properly and uh, file them and then do a beautiful festive design is it that's how we say it festive a festival festival design see <laughs> okay so again i've got my scoop and i kind of get it ready once it's ready i can do a jump jump to release it from the brush so it's easier but don't go to the sides guys don't go the the, the product will run in there so I'm really working through the middle and you can clearly see that on this nail that I have worked it to, through the middle and then with the brush very gentle like no pressure because if you do press too hard you will create the hole. So very gentle pressure just kind of distribute this product a little bit more to the side and uh, cook it. Okay, so they are just finishing cooking and uh, at this stage I would go and check if there is any more places I would like to add the product. You better off doing this way than uh, trying to put too much at the one time. You see, it's so easy. Once the product is cooked, it's very easy just to touch up some places um, and this wouldn't cause you uh, um, any leaking into the cuticles or uh, it wouldn't cause you any, any trouble. So I do really highly recommend it. it uh, going this way especially for the long nails where we've got quite a lot of product and it's uh, easier to use the control change i'm just going to do that in here as well that's oh, actually not too bad nope nope okay so this hand is uh, ready for the filing and i will show you on a one two nails how i'm file and then we can move on into the design part so uv cleanser to remove the inhibition layer
they really long for such a short nail beds uh, as you could see it on the before picture <laughs> Marley have really abused her nails this time um, the cuticles the skin and everything around it so we, we're going for this coffin shape so I'm filing one side and then other side so we've got this nice uh, almost like a triangle shape file the free edge blend everything around the cuticle area we want this product to be totally blended with the natural nails her cuticles are extremely extremely sensitive um, as you could also see it on the before picture as well so I have to be very careful when I'm working around that area especially with such a sharp file I'm using a hundred grit to shape the nail and to be honest, this one, I'm, I'm happy. I'm not going to do any more work uh, on it. Uh, we just have to buff it to smooth out all the surface and it will look really nice and pretty. Let's do this one. So the same, those kind of V-shape. File the free edge. bring it higher up, file everything around the cuticle area. So when I'm filing around the cuticle area, I'm using this side of the file, like file on the top, really carefully because her cuticles are just like a baby cuticles. and then file it from the top I don't want to file too much from this uh, middle part because that's where all my structure is uh, so when I'm filing I'm usually kind of thinning out the free edge so everything looks nice and slim uh, but I want to keep all the structure and the thickness of the product in there Okay, so uh, I especially leave those uh, places shiny so you can easily guys see it that I'm not I'm trying to not touch those nails and I know that this one is actually a bit longer uh, I know they are kind of boring videos when we do so much filing uh, but I do really want to take it at um, decent step by step for you guys so you can uh, you can see it and you can really learn those filing technique um, it will also help you to achieve more consistency over your work uh, so the nails will be uh, looking much prettier in overall uh, because you will have your filing routine so always those sides first then the cuticles nice and gentle up on the top on the cuticle again extremely gentle see in a case when you've got the client like this you might be uh, a good idea to even use um, some small bead to file around that sides and sometimes I do use that in the salon as well uh, because it's just too the, the skin is too fragile to go with the file in there okay so once I have filed all this area this also prevents lifting because uh, the product is really well blended and then I'm filing the sides because I want to thin this out a little bit and then add the free edge and then this nail is finished as well and you can see it all these parts which I didn't have to file uh, but overall the shape has improved so so much uh, then we are going to use 180 by 100 buffer remove those sharp edges as well and then give it a decent buff so I'm just buffing the entire surface of the nail like this and if you do not give too much pressure to it, uh, what your buffer will do is it will just remove the places where you've got too much product. Um, so like make sure you kind of do it nice and gently without of too much pressure. I have to also blend that cuticle area. And what I like about it, it has a cuticle shape and this side is safe. Uh, so I can really go and kind of push back the cuticles because with this movement I'm kind of pushing back those cuticles uh, and I, I can also buff it more this area as well mm 
in three. So I've got another nail completely ready. Do the same in here. I might actually even show you the side view. So they're nice. And here we want to have them nice and thin at the free edge. You don't want too much product in there. And all the structure, all the thickness, all the bulk of the product is here uh, in this place, which we didn't uh, file at the beginning. You don't want to see where the product is starting either. Okay, this one is filed. And then this one. And after that, um, uh, on the client like Marley, I'm going to do a little bit more of a cuticle work. I wouldn't even go and do over excessive cuticle work at her before I finish filing, because as you can see, it like I'm really <laughs> extremely slow, like for my speed. Uh, and gentle with her hands because she's got baby hands and you pick at it oh she's a picker as well <laughs> we will ban Marley until she stops picking <laughs> and she starts applying cuticle oil and so they can improve Okay, anyway, that's that's them filed and then my next step would be to take a cuticle nipper and just touch up all those hang bits and pieces. So like very gently. Tidy up all those hang skin. Got it even here. I'm not removing any extra bits and pieces, only the ones which really, really sticks out. Okay, I'm just going to do it quickly the same on the all other nails and then we can move on into the beautiful design. Yay, so some of them are already painted and I will show you how to create this design. I have left some nails for you. I've got this uh, paper that's a back of the form and I find it guys so handy for doing the designs. Now we are going to use 237. That's a spiky blue and it's a really beautiful blue. So that's blue on. Then the yellow of my cake, 198. So 198. Uh, then 238, pink sky. That's a really nice bright color. And uh, I really love this one too. Uh, I think it looks fantastic. That's at 239. And I want my tools this way next summer. Definitely like it's so amazing color. Uh, absolutely stunning. Uh, then we are going to use 183, which is a blank ink. And you know, guys, this is my favorite one. It's a one called black. Absolutely fantastic. And then in some places I want to use the Sugar Rush, which is 200 color as well. And we will create also some nice green out of this color as well. We are going to be using a um, D-liner brush. So that's the fine line brush. And I'm quite happy how they turn it out. Like, I mean, they have been really neglected nails, as you could see it on the on the before picture. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, start with this orange color. You kind of go a little bit random, but also we will do some sort of ombre-ish uh, design in here as well. Um, I think they are pretty cool, but also not over the top. So now I'm picking up the yellow as well. And I want to blend that orange with the yellow. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing lots of lots of lines and you can see it. We've got a nice uh, beautiful uh, ombre in here. Then just a yellow on its own. Just a wee line with the yellow. That's so pretty already. Cook it in. And then let's do some other colors in here. So we will do... Start with the yellow. 
decent amount then add the yellow into the blue to create a nice green color and start blending it in so i'm blending by doing lots of lots of movement in there okay we have amazing green and straight away i'm going to use this green here as well because i do really like it uh, and i want a decent triangle there like really decent triangle Especially that I've got it, it already mixed, so I can just color that in. It's a fun design because I'm, I'm going kind of totally random um, and I love those kind of uh, looks on the nails. Perfect change. And then once we have done this colors, I'm going to use uh, some bright pink. And I want a decent amount of it in here. So we are going to paint another triangle. So everything I'm kind of trying to do in a triangle shapes. And then same when we will be doing the black um, lines, I want to kind of keep Keep that kind of idea. And then we can also add some blue in here. So I've got another triangle there, which is going to be blue. If you want, you could blend it out into the purple. I'm actually going to do it. So just lots of lots of lines. And we've got some wee purple line change. Okay, after the green is a time for a blue in here. Again, another triangle. Triangle, is that how you pronounce? Triangle, yeah. And color that in. I'm definitely missing some yellow and pink on that nail. So decent amount of the yellow change. Oh, this one is actually finished. I love this one. And I can start painting with the black. So when painting with black and you want fine lines, like make sure you work through your brush. Uh, you want to get really nice and fine lines. To be honest, like to get like imperfect lines. Sorry guys, <laughs> I can't talk when I'm painting lines. anyway what I wanted to say to pair um, to paint the perfect lines I would do it differently like if I would want my lines extremely thin and just perfect spot on what you will need to do is put the top coat over your color buff it and then use acrylic paints with the black paint concentrator that that would give you the nicest and the prettiest lines uh, the reason for it is that 
here I've got the jump of the gel polish. Even if it's applied not as thick, you will still get some jump. And that is visible when we're painting a line. So this is for those of you who would be extremely fussy. You buff it and you use acrylic paints. I actually quite like this one. I don't want to overdo it. Perfect change. Okay, definitely pink on this nail. So I want to do it some pink. And more pink. Some pink at the edge go quite high up just so they all slightly different and then we can squeeze orange because I love that orange to be honest you will be better maybe curing so change and cure I can also apply top coat on this one and then this hand is completely finished uh, and I do really love this look like it's totally not over the top Absolutely fa fantastic for uh, what kind of festival are you going? It's a, it's a music festival. Music festival. <laughs> okay, so they are perfect for a music festival. Like dance music. Okay. Change. And then I'm going to add those orange here. Okay, I've got a nice idea. Sometimes it's quite hard to decide what I'm going to do it until I see it. And now I can see I can squeeze orange nicely in here as a triangle shape. And that goes really well. Cook this one for a couple seconds just so we can freeze the orange. Uh, in the meantime, I can prep my brush for black again. I take it back. And we can start. So here I want those uh, triangle at the top as well. So paint it close to the cuticle. And then do the triangle there. Well, sorry. Color that in. This design also looks quite complicated, but once we break it into a small particles, it's not as hard. So I need your hand a bit more flexy. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. And what I want. So here I will concentrate more into the line work which we have created rather than on the gel part. Just like a week, two lines, and that's what we plenty for this one. And then here I can go with some line.
I don't want to hide too much of the pink because I love that pink. So I have changed the angle. With the line work, you have to be really nice and precise. Okay, we are going to do another one which just comes out from here. So nice and straight. And then let's freeze it. Okay, then once it's frozen, we can move on into the next lines. Oh, decisions, decisions. Always so hard. I think it's a really fun design to do it because uh, it looks super cool. I like this one too. Let's do one more. Freeze it and then we can top coat it. And now we can just top coat it for the final look. I actually cannot wait to take a thumbnail picture for them because they look so, so awesome. Do you got your favorite one? <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to show you both of the hands just before I cook them. Uh, so that's the finished results. And I hope, guys, you have really enjoyed uh, this tutorial and you have learned something uh, new. I'm sending you glittery hacks and bye for now.